Hey guys, I'm Lisa and today we'll be jumping straight into the animal farm and if you stay until the end of the video I'll make sure to link you to some relevant resources that I think should help you with your text response studies. Written in 1945 by George Orwell, Animal Farm is an allegorical novella about the 1917 Russian Revolution and the repressive Stalinist period which followed. As a democratic socialist, Orwell was an adamant critic of Joseph Stalin and his totalitarian dictatorship over Russia. Thus, Orwell wrote Animal Farm as a satirical fable against Stalin's tyrannical control, stating that he wrote it with the intention of fusing political purpose and artistic purpose into one whole. Setting. The novella is set in Manor Farm, located in Willingdon, England, at an undisclosed time. As the events of Animal Farm symbolise the power struggle of early 20th century Russia, this ambiguity of time is intended to prevent Orwell's warning against a repressive tyranny from becoming dated. Orwell's use of a farm as the main setting is also notable, as farms represent nations in Animal Farm, and both require a vast amount of work in order to function properly. Thus, the act of the animals cooperating to cast the humans out of the farm symbolises a workers' revolution against the oppressive leadership. Main character analysis Napoleon Based on Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin, he emerges as a leader of the farm after the rebellion. He consolidates his control over the farm with the violent force of his nine attack dogs, having raised them as puppies. These directly symbolise Stalin's military force. He never contributes to other animals' efforts at revolution, as he is only a corrupt individual who seeks to take advantage of opportunities created for him by others. Snowball. Based on Soviet rebel Leon Trotsky, he challenges Napoleon for control of the farm after he takes control of the leadership. Similar to the leader he is modelled after, Snowball is eloquent, charismatic, intelligent and persuasive. Thus, he wins the loyalty and support of other animals easily. Boxer. Extremely devoted to the farm and the rebellion, Boxer symbolises what Orwell believed to be the best qualities of the proletariat or the exploited working class, such as loyalty, strength, camaraderie and hard work, perceivable by his personal motto of, I will work harder. However, he simultaneously suffers from typical weakness of the working class such as a naive trust in the intelligentsia and a slow-witted oblivion to political corruption, represented by his other motto of Napoleon is always right. Squealer. Manipulative and highly persuasive, he spreads Napoleon's propaganda throughout the farm to intimidate uneducated animals into supporting Napoleon's ideas and policies. Orwell uses the character of Squealer to warn against politicians' deliberate manipulation of mass media in order to gain social and political control. Old Major Based on the socialist revolutionary Karl Marx, as well as the Russian revolutionary leader Vladimir Lenin, Old Major's dream of a socialist utopia acts as a major motive for the rebellion. Major's death creates a political vacuum in the farm, leaving Napoleon and Snowball in a power struggle for control of his followers. Themes and motifs. Tyranny. By allegorizing in Napoleon dictator Joseph Stalin, Animal Farm is first and foremost a satirical critic of politicians' tyrannical misuse of power. This is epitomized by the deceitful methods Napoleon uses to gain support such as lying to the other animals that Snowball is a political traitor in order to banish him from the farm. Naive proletariat. Animal Farm explores the need for the working class to be educated, as the inability of the farm animals to question Napoleon's authority directly leads to the perpetuation of his oppression. Thus, Orwell presents to his readership that the working class may suffer not only due to dictators' abuse of power, but also from their own naive unwillingness to question the intentions of the authority. False allegiance. Orwell accurately exhibits treacherous aspects of the human condition in his portrayal of dramatized relationships between humans and animals. Just as the pig rulers of the rebellion eventually betray their own idealistic visions, the theme of alliance is shattered between Frederick and Napoleon when the latter learns that the former has been forging banknotes while buying firewood from him. 
thus Animal Farm depicts the idea that alliances formed in a tyrannical dictatorship are merely veneers of camaraderie, which hide a person's capacity to destroy others in their path towards control. Analysis of quotes. Four legs good, two legs bad. From chapter three, the slogan is based off old Major's speech before his death about the need for animals to unite in the face of human oppression and tyranny. The quote is a noteworthy example of propaganda in Animal Farm, as the leaders utilize language in order to essentially brainwash the working class animals. Although it initially helps the animals to remember their goals, the phrase later loses its meaning of solidarity as it becomes nonsensical noise made by the sheep when used to drown out the voices of challenges to the regime. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. This quote exemplifies the pig's abuse of logic and language to keep their power over their followers. The evidently senseless and illogical meaning behind this phrase is an example of the methods that the leader of the farm takes in order to brainwash his followers. The quote also suggests that the pig's real intention to create an animal utopia is not, in fact, to rise up against the oppression of the humans, but to become part of the elite, the sum that possesses greater rights and power than the rest of the underprivileged society. So on that note, I want to direct you towards some resources that I believe will be really helpful for you as you're studying this text. At LSG, we often talk about the five different types of essay prompts. And so I will link down below for you a blog on Animal Farm, which delves into the five different types of essay prompts you might get whenever you're faced with a new prompt in an exam or in a SAT for Animal Farm. And basically it teaches you how to identify the different types of prompts and then how you should be structuring your essay and what you need to consider in order to ensure that you are answering the prompt accurately on topic and just making sure that you flesh it out completely in the way that you need to. Apart from that, I've also got a few more resources on essay writing, which I'll link for you in the description box below. So please make sure you go ahead and check them out because I think they will be truly helpful for you as you get prepared in this text. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.